So Rock the Rooster gets real. That's what today's all about. I feel like the last few weeks we have not talked about Jesus at all. So this week we're gonna try and overcompensate. Yeah. So we're gonna tell all three of our testimonies. One minute testimony. A style. one minute testimony? It's gonna be animated by our good friend Jonathan Hutchins. I'm really good at it. <laughs> and uh, I hope you guys get to know us a little better. The behind the behind the rooster. <laughs> this is the behind the rooster scene. Why are we the way that we are? <laughs> because we're. Well, three of us are Jesus followers. Yeah, but it looks a little different. Each one of us came to Jesus a little bit differently. Um, so here it is. Scene one. So my name is Jonathan, and I grew up, my, both of my parents were Christians, and they tried their darndest to teach me what it meant to be a Christian, but it just, it didn't really compute. Um, and so I just grew up feeling very guilty all the time because I, I was very conscious of my sin. And I was very conscious that God was perfect and I knew that he kind of wanted me to be perfect. And I just like, I tried my best. I wasn't very good at being perfect. Um, so then I just got guilty and sad and guilty all the time. And I just felt like God really didn't like me. But then I was 16 and my parents sent me to this thing called Chrysalis. And it was just like this three-day camp where young men went away and the idea was that they were going to find Jesus there. And what do you know, it worked. And so these people were just praying for me while I was there. And I remember the first night was this guy told the story of the prodigal son, of how there was this uh, son and his dad. And the son says, hey, I want to go and live the life that I want to live. And he leaves and he just blows it. He blows through all the savings that his dad gave him. and. Uh, he lives this terrible lifestyle and he feels really, really, really guilty. But then he's like, hey, at least if I go back to my dad, I can at least be like a slave or something. I'm not gonna be returned as a son, but maybe I can be a slave. And then when he's on his way back to make this agreement with his dad, they're like, hey, I'll try and be perfect as a slave. I know I can never be a son again. Um, but while he's walking back, his dad sees him and he goes running to him and he throws his arms around him and he just says, I'm so glad you're home. You're my son and I love you. And in that moment, the Holy Spirit just really spoke to me. He said, Jonathan, that's how I see you. I see you as a son. You're not this slave. You're not this person who has to try to be perfect. I love you unconditionally as a son. Just be my son. And everything just fell into place. I felt like I knew who I was to God, who he was to me. And that was, geez, that was like six and a half years ago, and I've just been living for Christ ever since. That's it. All right, hey, <laughs> my name's Isaac Kolovecchio. I'm 25. I've been following Jesus since I was 18. I got saved right out of high school. Grew up in a Christian home. My dad's a pastor, which is sometimes a good thing, sometimes a bad thing. Um, so I grew up knowing who Jesus was, and I was super good at youth group games, but I didn't um, didn't love Jesus, and I struggled a lot with secret sin and shame and um, just hating myself because I knew I wasn't who God wanted me to be. Um, and then my sister signed me up for Bible College in York, England. It's called Calvary Chapel Bible College. I forgot what it was. Um, but while I was there, I was like, sweet, now I'm going to be a real Christian because I'm at Bible College. And I still wasn't still didn't feel like I was the kind of person that God wanted me to be and so I was like maybe I'll start reading the Bible because that seemed like a good thing to do and so I did and I went into this cool little closet by a space heater um, a water heater and just started reading through the New Testament and I got to Matthew 7 where it says um, a bunch of people are gonna come to me and say hey Jesus let us into heaven he's like no you did a lot of good stuff for me but I never knew you and so then my prayer was just, oh, oh no, <laughs> that's going to be me. Um, and then I just prayed that God would know me and whatever that means. And so that is where my relationship with Jesus was birthed. And he changed my heart, transformed my soul. And I'm a new person because of what Christ has done on the cross. And so everything from there has just been learning more about Jesus and developing as a person and it's forward and backward and upward and downward and um, following Jesus is just a fun adventure but that was the moment when God really got a hold of my heart and transformed me. 
All right, my name is uh, Austin, I'm 22 years old, and I've been following Jesus since like senior year of high school, uh, somewhere in the middle around there, 17 or 18 years old. Um, I grew up in a Christian home. Um, my, my parents were Christian. I went to church every Sunday. Uh, you know all the youth group answers, um, just like Isaac and Jonathan. Um, but I never uh, really had a relationship with God um, until um, a summer camp, or no, it was a winter camp. Winter camp um, at my church, um, and I went. And just like all the other camps that I went to, basically the whole time it was just me um, just hanging out with my friends and doing stupid stuff. Uh, until the last night, we had a big worship night, um, which was just like a couple hours maybe of just worship. And um, for the first hour, I was just sitting there like I normally did, um, just uh, not engaging and... Uh, I don't know, messing around. Um, but then uh, my pastor did a uh, altar call, and um, most of my friends went up there, and I f kind of felt like should I go up there just because my friends are going up there, and uh, I didn't go up there, um, and it, because I don't know, it felt like wrong because I didn't wasn't going to go up there for the right reasons, um, and then this song called. Uh, how he loves. Um, they started playing that song, and I just like felt just Jesus come over me, and I just started crying. And uh, I think for the first time I realized like what Jesus did for me. What he, he died on the cross, and and that anyone who does that um, for me is something special, and, and that I wanted to follow him. And so after I went up to my pastor and said, hey, I didn't go up during the altar call because I felt for, it was for the wrong reason, reasons, but um, I, I really want to follow Jesus now. And so that's when I accepted Jesus into my life and uh, been following him ever since. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for this week's Rock the Rooster. Yeah. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Comment down below. Uh, your testimony, oh. the whole thing. Oh, what? Super long. We'll probably won't read. Well, it. We'll, I'll read it. If, you, read if it. you put your testimony oh, there, yeah. I will definitely read it. Share how Jesus saved your life. And yeah. also, tell us what you want to see us do next. That's one of the other things you can comment down. No, there. they never do that. No, no, some <laughs> people do. They're just really bad ideas. So give, it <laughs> <laughs> give us good ideas. We'll do that. <laughs> oh, cool. Geez. All right. See you guys. Also. <laughs>